I'm Keith Campbell. I'm professor and department head of the Department of Psychology. Psychology is interesting because you, you typically don't take it in high school, or maybe you take one class. And it, it's, and like a lot of majors in Franklin College, it's a found major. You come here, you take a psych class, ah, this is cool. And so you start doing it, and you get into it more, um, and you end up finding a good, good home in psychology. And you, you find this with a lot of the social sciences. I mean, sociology is the same way, anthropology is the same way. People who have taken biology and chemistry and a lot of the basic sciences in, in, in high school, but the social sciences not as much. They take social studies, which is, which is different uh, than what we offer here. I've been at UGA for about 12 years now. I came here right after my postdoc uh, up in Cleveland at, at Case Western. So I started here as an assistant professor and sort of worked my way through the ranks, like a lot of us. My work is in social and personality psychology, basically studying how people, normal people, live and, and function in, the, in their life. And a big chunk of what I look at is narcissism, which is how people can have an inflated, grandiose sense of self, how they can be legends in their own mind, and how that affects them in, in negative and positive ways and how that affects the world. I mean, it comes after the myth of Narcissus who fell in love with his reflection and then died. I mean, that's the Greek myth and then Freud used that along with others and, and now we use it to talk about anybody who's in love with themselves and not really in a healthy way, but uh, think, think they're better than they are and better than other people. Students, um, one of the first things they jump to is the internet or Facebook and what the heck does Facebook have to do with narcissism and what does it mean to be, you know, putting pictures of yourself up 24 hours a day and looking at pictures of your friends. And that's some of the area we've done research in because of the interest. Um, the other people, uh, the other thing students talk a bit about is reality television. So what the heck is going on on Jersey Shore or what's going on on other reality shows and how is that changing our culture? Are people in reality television narcissistic? The answer is yes. Um, has television changed to become more sort of fame obsessed? The answer is yes. That's another interest. and. Um, the other, the other area that a lot of students are interested in, I mean a lot of us, but you know, especially when you're hitting 19 years old, is relationships, how you form romantic relationships. And one thing you run into a lot in that is dating people who are jerks. Um, and that's sort of another aspect of narcissism and something we've done a lot of research on here. You know, it's, it's funny, a lot of traits we have are mixed blessings. They, they, get, they do positive things and negative things. If you want to be a reality television star, narcissism is not a bad trait to have in the short term. It, it means, you, you know, you're attention seeking, you, you know, you, you're willing to do stupid things on film to get attention. That's, that's a good trait to have. Um, it's not so good a trait to have if you want to have a committed relationship with somebody. It's not so great a t uh, trait to have if you want to work on a team with somebody, to work in a business with somebody, to, to live in a dorm with somebody. So it has, it has a lot of negative consequences. Um, but lots of the news we see are people who are fame-seeking and incredibly destructive, whether in committing crimes or in politics or in business and we see a lot of that and I think students are getting more and more aware of that because they're feeling the consequences of it in their own in their own life. Psychology ties into everything. I mean it ties into, you know, you, you learn jury decision making, you, you can go into law, you learn psychology in the workplace, you can go into business, you learn neuroscience, you go to medical school. We have we have lots of pre med majors in psychology because they're the interest in neuroscience and in, in health psychology. Um, and of course there's the clinical psychology route for people and other people want to go into other counseling disciplines. They maybe want to go into to counseling or they want to go into uh, social work. So there's a lot of directions for psychology majors to go. And of course marketing, things like that as well. Being a professor to, at a research school and a, and a flagship school like UGA, I mean part of your job is to go out and talk to people all, all over the world. Trying to get these ideas out and that's 
part of what we're supposed to do as faculty is you, you create knowledge through research, you disseminate knowledge through education, and also talking to the public, talking to reporters, talking to groups, um, whatever you can do to get ideas out there and get them into the national discussion, and hopefully help the, the country parse through some of these things.